Today's model is stunningly beautiful right here in Riverview in a gated gas community. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Model Home Show by D. And guys, today I am in Riverview showcasing a beautiful gas-gated community builder model. It's five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and it's three-car garage. So the first thing I want you to notice is as I go around the side, you have a three-car bay right over here. However, uh, it's a builder model, so I cannot go in. But what I want to point out is that you have this nice walkway and look at this front patio area that you have. So I really love the columns that you see over here. Now guys, this is an upgraded model. So whenever I'm showing you a builder model, it's gonna have a lot of bells and whistles. So just keep that in mind. This is an upgraded elevation. Your standard elevation is different than what you see over here. So let's go inside. What I also want to point out is that you have the stone elevation over here, but not to mention the double door leading you to your house. Now this, door is actually an upgrade in regards to the glass you will get a standard door which would be a solid eight foot door so let's go inside and check rest of this beautiful model out Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful loaded builder model. Now guys, whenever I'm doing the builder model, as I was stating, it's going to have a lot of bells and whistles. So just don't get carried away. And if you are looking to buy a house anywhere in Central Florida and now Tampa areas, this is a great resource. Press that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel because we bring you eight plus homes. And if you are not sure about where to buy, make sure to check out Community Living by D where I go through all Central Florida communities, also Tampa communities. And we talk about school, hospital, housing, dining, shopping, everything that there is to know so you can make a decision, especially when you're relocating from a different state. So as I walk in, you would see this beautiful double door entrance. Now this of course is an upgrade. However, your ceiling height on the first floor is about 10 foot and then you have another nine foot on the second floor. So you have this really nice broad entrance. Now this is definitely an upgraded tiles as you see down over here. Now as this house sits, it's about five bedrooms, five bathrooms, three car garage. However, this house could be turned into a six bedrooms, five bathroom home. The base price is 662 for a four bedrooms, three and a half bathroom with three car garage. So just keep those things in mind. The lot size of this beautiful property is at 60 by 120. That's long and deep enough to give you uh, a pool space. However, once you build a pool, you're not gonna have much of a yard. So just keep those things in mind. So as I walk in, you have this space right over here, which is actually a suite. Now this is a upgrade. So if you decide not to have this, it's just going to be a flex space. There's not going to be anything over here. So they, they turned this whole thing into a really nice uh, full size bedroom. So especially when you have a lot of guests coming in, this could be a really nice place for them. They have their own bathroom. I love the tall ceiling. And then you also have this really nice big window overlooking the front porch area. And then right over here, you have the eight foot doors, which is also an upgrade. However, this is a standard feature in terms of the doors that they do over here. Your regular door size is going to be six, eight. And then as I go around, you have the first full bathroom with the shower tub combination. The upgrade is in relation to the tile and all the nice uh, work that you see over here. So just keep those things in mind. Um, you will get a quartz with them. However, this is an upgraded quartz along with the upgraded cabinet color that you see and the flooring. Now with builders, they always do that. They spend a lot of money. They spend about 20 to 30% and in the upgrades to basically showcase of what they can really do. So as I go around, you also have this space, which is a nice dining area. I would say it's probably a semi-private dining area because, you know, it's kind of open from the kitchen pantry area. It's also open here. Um, and this is something that I like. However, I would prefer something that's just completely open, but this is really nice in terms of if you like formal dining, this is really nice in the sense that it's open from the kitchen and it's also open over here, but I like that they put the extra lights here 
and then you also have this really nice big window so this is something that I always like when you have an making it open and I'm going to take you around in just a moment to show you how this kind of connects to the kitchen so it makes it very very convenient now if you would see up there you have the crown molding and you also have the extra lights that is actually an upgrade and then as I go over here you have the space which kind of they made it into a wine cellar which is a big upgrade for the builder but if you choose not to have that you're going to have a solid wall over here and then there would be there would be a, a, a door on the other side leading to this space so this would be just like a like a coat closet uh, or, or just some empty space or, or just a closet for you to store things and then as I go in look at the size and the width of your of your a staircase over here it's really nice and broad I've seen with some builders they make it really really short like it's not that wide as you see over here so it's really nice and bright and then as I come in look at this you have really nice tall ceiling you have a lot of windows you have the three sliders and this is actually an upgrade in terms of if you want a pocket slider and I believe this is a pocket slider and what I mean by that is that it kind of just goes all the way and kind of really hides behind the door. Basically, it makes the whole place open up. So if you really like to, to take care of people and friends and you wanna have them come and visit you, then this kind of just opens up. And then you have this beautiful pavers right here with a nice pool. And this is what I was talking about. So it's a 60 by 120 lot. And when you put a pool on that, then it's probably going to take most of the space. So just keep those things in mind. Now, this is a gas community. So just keep, keep that in mind that this is a gas community, which I personally prefer a gas community over uh, electric community. It's just a personal choice. However, I do know that in some of the communities where, you, where it's electric, you definitely can do it if the HOA allows. You just have to get the permission of the HOA and you can turn that into a gas too. But look at all the space you have. You have a really nice, bright, open living area with the extra lights. And then you also have like a little breakfast nook over here. You have this really nice window. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out is that the double doors that you see right over here is actually an upgrade. So if you don't have that, you are going to actually have a, a window overlooking your patio area or the pool area for that matter. But look at the size of this island, guys. This is the regular size of the island. However, the upgrade is in terms of the faucet that you see over here and also the sink that you see over here. Now, this is a gas community, so you will have the gas appliances, but Builder is not giving you washer, dryer, or refrigerator, so keep that in mind. They're also doing about twenty to $25,000 towards your closing cost and prepaid. And guys, if you are looking to buy, you're gonna get the best deal on an inventory home. And right now with most builders, especially with major builders such as DR Horton, Pulte, Taylor Morrison, they are basically going to be able to buy down the interest rate. So I know the rates have kind of gone crazy. And I do want to mention, you know, the market is not as crazy as that it has been just in the beginning of the year. So the resale market is seeing a lot of corrections. I'm not seeing a lot of corrections in terms of the price with the brand new build. However, what I am seeing is that they are giving you the incentives and in some cases buying down points to make it more affordable for you to buy the house. So just keep those things in mind. This is a standard feature with this builder. So this uh, little transom that you see over here and here is actually an upgrade. I'm sorry, let me take that back. It's actually not an upgrade. Uh, however, the upgrade is in regards to the back tile that you see over here. Also the kitchen and appliances that you see. And one thing that I want to point out, something that my wife always loves to do is this is a soft close and that is actually an upgrade. And so is the upgrade in terms of a gourmet kitchen. So this is all an upgrade. So just keep those things in mind. But I like, look at the size of this whole place. Like you have so much room all the way from here to there. And then it has a really nice size pantry. Let me go ahead and show you over here. Look at the size of this pantry. This is really nice and comfortable. And then you also have this little space and I love, you know, there is an upgrade or a design center option available where you can have some cabinets pulled in, but I love the way, one of the best part of my job is when I'm showing homes, 
I just love the way they decorate it. You know, it just gives you so many ideas. It's just simple shelf that you can go to Ikea and buy that, but this really makes this space kind of stands out. So as I walk to the other side of the house, you know, you have that space right there, which is actually a flex space. However, you have a structural option to kind of change this whole area, which they're using it as a flex option. You can make this into a theater, or you can actually change this whole place into a full mother-in-law suite. So they do have that option that you can change this. Now the lot price, which I forgot to mention, is about 20 to 45,000, depending upon if it's a corner lot, cloudy sec, if you're looking at the community pond. So just keep those things in mind. Now it has a really nice window. You have the extra light, but this is the space that you can have as your own private retreat, um, a theater, or if you want to turn this whole, they can make this into a mini suite, uh, just reflecting the master suite. So what will happen is that this, this room is gonna go a little bit up till here. This will still remain a three car garage because the third car bay is a little deep bay. So it kind of goes a little bit in. So you will cut into that space. However, it will still be a three car garage. And then right behind this door is the entrance to the three car garage. Now I can't go in because this is a builder's model. However, I want to point out just this nice little piece of furniture. Now, if you don't have that room that I was showing you up front, then what's going to happen is you're going to have a door over here that leads you into that room, the one that they turned into a little wine cellar area. And then this piece of furniture can just come easily over here. So making it really flexible. And then as I go straight, you also have this little space right there, which is actually a nice cavity underneath the staircase, giving you a lot of space right there. And then what they also did in terms of the upgrades with this house, they, they turned this into a full bathroom. So if you don't have that option, it will be a half a bathroom. So you have this walk-in shower, framed walk-in shower with this beautiful tile and the little niche, but it also has the door that kind of leads to your pool. So it's a pool bathroom. It's a full pool bathroom that you could use. Now guys, when you are looking at things like this, please don't get carried away because these things are pretty easy to do that you could always do after you close. If you haven't watched my videos on the do's and don'ts, make sure to look at the playlist because that's where I talk about, uh, you know, where you get the most bang for your money. And I'm going to highly say if you can go to the design because most of the builders have a lot of inventory homes right now. And it's basically, this is the house, this is the upgrades, this is what you have. In some cases, you can't choose structural, but in some cases, depending upon when you go under contract, you may have a choice to go to the design center where you can say, this is the color cabinet I want, this is the flooring I want, this is what you could do that. I am going to tell you that right now, with the way the things are, with the rates creeping up as they have been, your best bet with the builder is going to be an inventory home. And I say, I can't stress you enough is because you will not only get a good deal on the house, but you will also get a great deal in terms of kind of locking in the price for the interest rate. Like, like just locking in the interest rate is rather what I'm trying to say, because most builders will basically already have the money. And if you close before the end of the year, they will say you could do it at four and a half percent or five percent and they won't cost you money. And in some cases would even pay some of your closing costs. So just make sure that you, you keep that in mind. So let's go upstairs, this beautiful staircase. Now, as I go up, I do want you to know that this actually, this banister that you see here with the spindles is actually an upgrade. If you don't choose to have that, it's just going to have a knee wall. So let's go upstairs and check the rest of this beautiful house out. So as I go upstairs, I did mention that this, all this railing that you see here with this beautiful catwalk area is actually an upgrade. However, the ceiling height that you see, which is a standard feature, which is about nine foot. And then you have your secondary bedrooms right over there. But look at the view from here, you know, this this is just beautiful. It reminds me of a very similar Bimini model that I did with Taylor Morrison. And, and they had a model which was kind of very similar. But the difference with that was that they actually had the theater room upstairs and then they had the double island. So as I walk over here, you have a bedroom, another bedroom, 
which is a Jack and Jill, which I'll show in just a moment. But let's go ahead and go on this side. And this is where you have your laundry. Now the upgrade is in terms of pretty much everything that you see. So this is the normal size. The wash station and the fold station is an upgrade along with the cabinet. However, you do get the standard window, but look at the depth that it has. So it's a very comfortable, very nice, big and bright. Now I will suggest you don't go ahead and get all of this. However, if you want a wash station, make sure that you pay for the stub so that you could do your own wash station later on, but you want to pay for the plumbing up front. That is something that I would highly recommend. And again, this portion alone here is also an upgrade in regards to, or if you don't have that, then you're going to have a knee wall. But I do think that the beauty of the house is in something like this because it kind of just opens up. It's very inviting. It's very like vibrant. It's, it's just, you walk in and you look at the tall ceilings with the amount of lights. It reminds me of very much of a Heatherton model, which I did with the builder. And it was another beautiful, beautiful model. So as I go around, you have another bedroom, but look at the amount of windows. One thing with this builder I really absolutely love is the amount of windows they give you at no additional cost. I know of a builder that would basically give you a standard one window, and then if you want the side windows, as you see the one over here, they would just charge you extra. So every builder is different, so just keep that in mind. What really you need to keep in mind is what really works for you. The flow of the house, like this is a 4,200 plus square foot house. You know, actually it's 4,272 to be precise. It's a big house. You can see the size of the room. I don't see a lot of dead space and that is really nice. I would definitely get the extra light if I possibly could, but I think with the room with four nice windows, it's probably good I could live with that. And then you have this nice walk-in closet area right over here with a nice big light. And then you have the eight foot door. Now that is actually an upgrade, so keep that in mind. And then you have a full bathroom, which is a shower tub combination with the tiles up here. I would have preferred the tile to go all the way up. However, I am going to suggest you once you do that, maybe you can get a wallpaper and do that because that looked pretty good. I did a home with GL. I actually did a couple of their homes and they just look so stunningly beautiful with the wallpaper and it just complemented the tile. It kind of really popped it out. So just keep that in mind. You have the undermount sink with the upgraded faucets and of course the upgraded uh, cabinet color that you see here. And then right around it, you have the other two bedrooms. I hope you get a lot of value. Now, as I go over there, let me go ahead and show you, you also have the small closet space right there. So a lot of little nooks and nicks around the house to give you a lot of space because I know as, as you grow the family, you just kind of grow into the house, you know, and, and it's just like, you know, I have two small kids and there's so much stuff. It's like we're running out of place. Uh, uh, but when you have a house as big as this, at least you could not worry about the space. You have enough space to keep the storage. So you have this really nice big size bedroom. Look at the space between the two beds. You know, I have two boys and until they grow up old enough to have their own bedrooms, this is a really nice setup. You have enough room between the two to have a table. You know, uh, you have a light and then you also have this window. I would have preferred, but what I love about this is that this is a Jack and Jill. So you have a really nice, uh, closet space right over there so it's not very big but very comfortable but look at the the space you have here so you have really nice big space with the undermount sink you have a pocket door in between to your water closet area with the shower tub combination pretty much the same pattern that i saw with the other house and then you also have a small linen closet right there and then another pocket door and then a similar kind of setup with this closet. So it's like a walk-in closet, but it's a little bit bigger walk-in closet. And this was actually named as the best feature by the Parade of Homes in, in this area. So this is really nice feature, especially when you have small kids or, or you know, my sons are, are just about three and six years old. And as they grow, this would be a really nice house to have because then as they grow, they can have their own space but then they can share the bathroom. So that, that is something that I really like. And then as I come over here, you have the other room. Now the room, this room is a little bit smaller. The closet is a little bit bigger. However, the other room was a little bit bigger, but the closet was smaller. So it, I, I don't know how they designed that, but 
I guess it just complements uh, one thing or the other, but what I like is that you have this nice two big windows overlooking your backyard. Now guys, this community is a gated community and the HOA in this community is $124.80. It does include fiber optic internet. There's not a lot of amenities in terms of pools or uh, pool or cabana. However, there is a kids play area. But other than that, it's a gated community. It's a gas community. And the best of all, there is no CDD. Now, let me go ahead and show you this beautiful master bedroom. Now, the double door is actually a standard feature in this community with this builder on this model. But look at the space. You walk in, you have this really nice space, right? Just a little sitting area or like a little reception area. But look at your master bedroom. You have really nice a big window two another two windows as you can probably see that i love my windows i absolutely love them because it just makes the house so bright so welcoming but look at all this space you have this extra lights over there the crown molding tray ceiling is something that i would recommend in a master bedroom if you have a master bedroom as big as this and then you also have this nice sitting area right over here and not to mention your own little sitting area right there. Now, you know, if you have a small kid uh, that you are nursing, this is a really nice space to kind of, you know, take care of them. Maybe not necessarily here, but just around the corner of there, that little sitting area was, but you have another window. And check out, once you go through this double door, look at your master bathroom, wow. Isn't that amazing? I love the fact that you have a nice transom there, you have another window, but I love the fact that you have your space. Actually, this is bigger, so it would be her space. So she, she has her space, and then you have your space right over there, and you have this nice little uh, tub area right there. Now, by the way, I did ask the builder if that's a possibility to kind of move this, and unfortunately, they cannot do that. This is just the way it is going to be. But then I like that you have this nice pocket door for your water closet area. Now, I used to call this toilet until um, a, one of my clients from up north told me it is a water closet. So, and, and then this is the owner suite, not the master bedroom. But what I also like is that you have this really nice walk-in closet right over here. And then on the other side, which I'll show you in just a moment, you have another walk-in closet. So it's kind of separated and I like that degree of separation. Now, before I go there, you also have a little closet space right here. And then you have the frameless walk-in shower, which is an upgrade, but I really like the fact, I think I opened it the other way. I should have opened it that way, but sometimes I do mistakes like that, I guess. Uh, but I like that you have this little sitting area. The tiles are done all the way through the same pattern that you saw in the other. I would have preferred that the tiles would have gone all the way up there too, but this is really nice. And then over here, you have another walk-in closet, pretty much similar size, just a little bit smaller, but pretty much a, a good size. And it's nice that it's separated. I hope you get a lot of value. Now, this model reminds me very much similar to the Heatherton model that I actually did a while ago in Orlando. It's a very similar model, but what I like is that you have a lot of structural options in this. So it can go from a four bedrooms, three and a half bathroom to a six bedrooms, five bathroom home. You know, it's a beautiful house in a great community right here in Riverview. Now guys, if you are looking to buy a house and you're on the internet filling a form, make sure to let them know that you are working with an agent, whether that be us or anybody else. You know, our services to you as an agent is absolutely free uh, because we get paid by the builder. However, we have a lot of information that we can help you so you can get all the information you need to make the best possible educated decision in which areas to buy, what one builder is doing compared to another. And the best of all is that you don't have to pay. Now, when you do call my team, um, my ISA, her, her job is to just take the information and connect you to the local expert or the local agent in that area, whether that be me or somebody from my team. We also do a Zoom call. That's where we kind of go deep into what is that you are really looking for. So when you do finally come down, we are going to take you to the properties that fits your needs, fits your budget, and that makes sense rather than showing you 50 or 100 homes. And then by the end of the day, you're all confused. Now we do also sell a lot of resale. So please, uh, you know, let us know so we can 
do a search and find something which is few years old or depending upon your budget, depending upon your price, we can come up with a whole plan and give you all the information up front so when you come down, you're shopping like a pro. Well, I hope you get a lot of value. Press the thumbs up button and thank you for watching our videos. Until the next model, thanks for watching. Bye for now.